Hi everyone. Welcome to another video. Here I'm going to talk about the exception, a SQL recoverable exception. A network adapter could not establish the connection. So here I'm facing this error. Uh, I check the connection, URL, username, password, everything is fine. Since here I'm using uh, Oracle database and I'm trying to connect to Oracle database using the Spring Boot. So uh, verified the URL and the database username and the password. And here you can see the URL is correct. Username and password is also correct. So one thing that could cause this problem is uh, there's a network issue if you're trying to connect to a remote uh, database but in my case I'm using a local database so I should not be facing this error so there's one change that you can try doing from your end uh, so if you're not sure if you're using the SID or the service name you can try changing the URL from uh, slash to colon so we do that so here if you see instead of the slash we can try using the colon if uh, that also not works replace it back to slash and try to see uh, if the configuration is proper in the TNS aura so first you have to navigate to your uh, folder where the oracle service is installed go to the network and then the admin folder in the admin folder you will find few files like listener.ora and tnsnames.ora so verify both the files uh, first let's check tnsnames.ora so here you can verify the host name so I'm using windows so I have whatever host name I have given it's there if you are making some changes in the host name uh, make sure you update it here because it doesn't get automatically updated so if that is fine just check the listener.aura everything is fine check the host name here also okay if all those uh, changes are fine you should be able to restart the application and it should be able to connect so I have made changes there and after that I was able to connect to the application to the database from the application and then it was working fine for me the build was success I did not see any error I was able to insert the data in the database from Spring Boot so this is how I have resolved this error uh, let me know if it is helping you to fix the error if not uh, please share the details in the comment section and we'll try to sort that out thank you everyone for watching this video see you in another video thank you